If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenerolf here. I am rocking Modern again. This is the Untap Open League Season 8. I did really poorly <laughs> in, uh, in Round 1. Uh, lost 0-2. We played best of five anyway, not that it mattered, and I made it 2-2 and then made another stupid mistake in game five. So, I'm not feeling great this league, but this is what I'm running. Shoutouts to, I want to say shoutouts to Nikachu. This is very much not his list. You'll notice the lack of master waves in the main board. Uh, you see the one of in the sideboard. I think that that's all right, uh, but this is what I'm running. Basically, to run through it really quickly, uh, Miss Color does something against Phoenix. It's, it's okay, it's okay. It has some other uses, but that's the main reason. Uh, but the other one drop is Benthic Biomancer. What, one drop Merfolk. We also have Ether Vial over here, and we have two Spell Pierces. Only two. That is not m many. I was strongly considering adding more, uh, but I'm not trying to be too reactive. I'm trying to be a proactive player. Um, but that could very well come back and bite me. So the usual suspects, four Spreading Seas, um, for Master of the Pearl Trident, for Lord of Atlantis, you have your lords. I'm rocking uh, three Harbinger of the Tides, which were what might have been the cut for uh, Spell Pierces had I added more. Uh, I'm also running three Mirror Regery, so this is an 11 lord list. I'm running one Kapala Warden of Waves over Kira because it's a merfolk, um, and instead of countering it, it makes it harder to cast in the first place. Uh, then I have one Thassa God of the Sea, only one. It's legendary, but the main reason, I mean, so it's a little bit of wrath insurance. If your opponent wraths the board, you still have a creature that can scry to get you out of it. You're very quickly going to have devotion up, um, but it's not, despite being a 5-5, it's not as impactful for the rest of my team. Uh, it does make a merfolk unblockable, that is nice, but I'm only trying it at 1. Uh, it also, you'll notice, tops my curve at 3. I don't ever have to take either file up to 4 in this list. My opponent is on this janky stuff, whatever this is. The only creatures are four Simeon Spirit Guide, um, which you can hard cast late game. What they're trying to do, you'll notice there's Wheel of Fate. So take a look at that. That's Wheel of Fortune for modern. It has a suspend, but otherwise it's Wheel of Fortune. Uh, and then there's Reforge the Soul. As soon as it decides to come up, my internet's a little slow. Um, each player discards their hand and draws seven cards. That's what the other one says too. This one has Miracle, so they're all going to be worse Wheel of Fortunes, right? Or alternate casting cost Wheel of Fortunes. And then you see Burning Inquiry. Each player is going to draw three, then discard three. I wonder where this is going. So there is Dream Salvage. So as I have to discard cards, my opponent will draw more cards. Uh, and then there's... Let's see... Look to a dominance. Okay, that's that's neat, but that's actually not what I was looking for. That that's a pretty cool card in the context of this deck, though. That's pretty neat because you're going to be able to get back your uh, wheel of fate. Its CMC is zero. Your burning inquiry. Its CMC is one. Uh, not not that. Um, Past and flames. Locket of yesterdays. And where we're really going with this, you'll notice there's four pyromancer ascension. So they're very quickly going to try to build a bunch of cards into the graveyard. Cast this and start going off with Grape Shot. So that's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Um, and then there's also Waste Knot because it's a, it's a Waste Knot um, Storm deck. Waste Knot Ascension or whatever this deck is called. It, it's Waste Knot Storm. Um, put it all together and I'm probably in trouble. The most important mode here is whenever an opponent discards um, a land card, add Black Black and that can help keep them getting the mana to, uh, to go off. So I heard that ticking let me see. It looks like my opponent is ready for me to jump in. I am recording. Apparently. Let me cut that just to make sure. I want to make sure. Okay, so, yeah, we're good. Uh, my opponent is surely ready. So I'm going to say... Uh, so, by the way, this is two lands and an ether vial and spell pierce, lord, lord, lord. This is fine. Um, now... Spell Pierce is going to be really great here. Uh, against what my opponent's trying to do, Spell Pierce might be all that I need to slow them down. Um, if I can stop one of their wheel effects, then hopefully that'll put the ball pretty readily in my favor. I also would like to hit a Waste Knot or a Pyromancer Ascension. So turn one, black mana, this is a Locket of Yesterdays. 
So this is going to make their game a lot easier. It makes each spell you cast cost one less for each card with the same name in their graveyard. So I would very much like not to have to go turn one spell pier- oh my god, this internet is so slow. Uh, so we're not. We're not going to do turn one spell pierce. We're going to do turn one ether vial. And I'm going to do my dead level best not to forget that. Pass the turn. Just so that I don't forget, I'm going to put a counter- put counters at zero. Now, let's see. So, looking back through this, oh, uh, my land base is one cavern, three mutaval, one Oboro Palace in the Clouds, 15 snow-covered islands. The snow has absolutely no relevance here. Um, I made this before- oh, hello. Ooh, there's a waste knot. Okay. Well, now we have to play a little more cautiously. Alright, so we're going to go to my turn. I'm going to take it up to one- or up to one, yeah. And then we're going to draw a card. I'm going to do my best not to forget those. I'm going to do my best not to forget those. Do my best, do my best, do my best. Alright. Now, you have exactly as much idea <laughs> as, as you need how tempted I am to, right here, right now, play just the Biomancer and not hold up Spell Pierce, but I... I I, I don't think I can play Spell Pierce right now. If we look at my opponent's deck list, they're only running 15 lands. Unless they hit, I mean, they're probably not flooded, so if I can hold up Spell Pierce for whatever they're doing next, I probably have a decent chance of just getting them. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to, actually let me look at their deck list one more time. Uh, there's no like Thought Seize or anything like that. They're not going to be able to, to hit me on that. Rituals though, that's, that's not good. That's not great. Uh, there's no reason here for me to hold up the one, so Benthic Biomancer, and that's all, I'm going to say, pass the turn. You know, if my opponent absolutely does nothing here, then I can flash in the Benthic Biomancer with Aether Vial and adapt it to draw a card, discard whatever's the worst card in my hand, which in this matchup is almost certainly Kapala. Uh, we'll see what I draw into, but it's probably going to be Kapala. You'll notice there's not a lot of spot removal here. This isn't even a Lightning Bolt deck. Their Lightning Bolt is Grape Shot. Two Grape Shots. Alright. So I'm going to have to keep my, my finger on the ready. I hit A for Alert Response. So, uh, Uncle Flacco. Shoutouts to Uncle Flacco. And by the way, your list is really cool, dude. I, I think it's cool anyway. Oh, well, so we did have three lands. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Taking another two. It's a Blood Crypt. Oh my goodness, my nose. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, I, I'm gonna hit Q here. They've already played their land, so whatever they cast next... Oh, by the way, um, Waste Not triggers on when the opponent uh, discards, so it doesn't have anything to do with you, thank goodness. However, we are about to start seeing some cards get dunked into, dumped into the yard. Uh, I maybe could have spell pierced the Faithless Looting to try to stop them from going off. That is a Wheel of Fate. Hello. Hello. Hmm. That's not good. Like, you've got to know, opponent, I'm doing something. I, I have something up my sleeve here. Clearly. Clearly something is up. Alright. Well... <clears throat> Oh my goodness, my nose. My nose. I just have, like, perpetual borderline uh, nasal drainage. Uh, I'm gonna say, end of turn. Just, uh, let, let's see. So, they do have instants in their deck. They do have, um, that's not one. That's an instant. Interesting. I, oh, I have to be careful. Well, it's okay. If I discard one card, they're gonna cycle it. That's fine. I can live with that. So we're going to flash in Benthic Biomancer. Cool. Set you over here, bud. Either vial over here. Uh, still e OT. I'm going to put a counter on it. Make sure that that's cool. Alright, we're good. Uh, draw a card. Discard Kapala. You know, actually... Hmm... 
I would like to keep my Violet too. Like, Kapala's not gonna do anything in this matchup, right? Absolutely not a thing at all. The trick here, though, is that Merfolk Trickster also doesn't do anything. Anything. Um, hmm. Yeah, looking through this, I'm not seeing a, a great case. So we have Electro Dominance. Deals X damage to any target. Um, I guess Kapala is okay for that. Um, hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, but Merfolk Trickster... I'm actually going to get rid of you, I believe. They're both 2-2s. Two Mana cost is different. This may be wrong, I may be crazy, but it just may be a lunatic we're looking for. Uh, Merfolk Trickster does nothing. This at least works on Electro Dominant, so we're going to say... Discard? Alright. Could have just dragged it, but whatever. I didn't bother. Alright, cool. We're going to take it up to 2. I will, I will remember that. I don't usually forget Aether Vial in paper anymore, but it's a little different when I'm playing on an interface with which I'm not familiar. Okay, there's a reason to keep it at three, so uh, or to have it at three. So that's that's a thing. We got there, I guess. Um, I'm going to say combat? <laughs> Question mark? Combat? Alright, going to see, um, I'm going to type before damage, uh, before da- okay, I didn't get that out in time, so, uh, before damage, we're going to flash in, although with the lag, it might have looked cheap, I guess, um, but yeah, there's a, a master, alright, so cool, we got it down to 13, and then we're going to say, Past the turn. We're gonna take it nice and slow, folks. Nice and slow. <laughs> uh, Locket of Yesterdays makes them one cheaper. Uh, notice the lack of mana cost on Wheel of Fate. Like, actual factual lack. You cannot cast this normally. So, that does nothing so far. And Locket of Yesterdays, because of the way that it's worded, uh, unless it's been errated, does not work on flashback cost. Um, okay, so let's see what we have. It's gonna be another Faithless Looting. It's a Burning Inquiry. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. I don't like this. Spell Pierce. Gonna make them. I'm gonna make them do it now. Pay the two, so you don't get anything else this turn. Not necessarily. They could, you know, waste not. Okay, so they're paying the two. That's fine. Okay. So, they're only going to get black mana for each land I discard. Alright. Got it. Um, now, how do I randomly do that? Hmm, how do I randomly do this? So, I'm going to draw three cards. So, Burning Inquiry is each player draws three cards, then discards three at random. One, two, three. Oh, you know what? That's all creatures. So they're going to get three Zambonis. Okay. Wait, wait. Has chosen unknown at random. Okay, so there's a function here. Uh, select random. Okay. So that's you, Lord. This is, this is interesting. I don't think I've ever done it. I, I have never done it this way before. And then uh, one more. Select random. It's this one. Okay. So, there wasn't a way that we were going to lose all of our lords there. Like, we lost three, and we're fine. <laughs> so, uh, that's okay, I guess. Yep, three Zambonis. Nice. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, I, I thought it was right to spell pierce there. At least, if nothing else, it cuts the turn off. There's nothing else that we're going to see here. Just to make sure, uh, what hit the yard? Burning Inquiry, of course. Seeming Spirit Guide, Desperate Ritual, another Wheel of Fate. So the rituals are going to get even cheaper now. And that's not particularly great. Also, you know, spells. Not just instants and sorceries. Okay. Well, they're all stacked. I hate it when that happens. 
it's a fun little getting used to untap thing. Eh, what can you do? I'm gonna have a sip of coffee, make sure that I don't fall asleep in the middle of this game. Hmm. Okay. So, the lack of spreading seeds here is, uh, is interesting. Um, there's nothing I can do on the end, so we're gonna... Yeah, Kapala's the only three, so I think we're supposed to leave it. I think we're supposed to leave it here. Now that I don't have a spell pierce, I'm gonna leave it at two. Ooh, well there's a cavern. That's okay. Um... Alright, so we're gonna put a note. Um. <laughs> Just in case my opponent decides to be <laughs> a stickler. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure my opponent wouldn't. I'm gonna say he because Uncle Flacco, but Merfolk, aka uh, Nikachu's pets. Shoutouts to Nikachu. <laughs> All right, cool. That's a that's a thing. So now, now, um, so what I would like to do is we're gonna start off with another lord. Start off with you. I'm gonna hold up one mana for now. Now this is a 3-3, three, three, and this is a 1 plus the 1 counter, plus 1 plus 1, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Now I think it's fine to go to combat, and if my opponent decides to double block, I will bounce one of them with Harbinger. And because they're tokens, they're just, they're just gone, baby, gone. Your love is gone. Alright, what you got? Yeah, I, uh, I just did Nautilus Barkley there, for some reason. Hey, little buddy. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Gotcha. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And a little bug. Um. Ooh, okay, that, that's the other way it could have been. Triple block lord. Hmm, okay. So, Triple Block Lord is interesting. Um, oh no, I couldn't have bounced them anyway because they're not tapped. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I couldn't have bounced them anyway. Um, the, the condition on Harbinger is that they have to be tapped. I'm just, I'm just an idiot. Okay, so never mind then. Um, hmm. Let me make sure, because I'm pretty sure there's not a thing I can do here about that. Um, and lo and behold, there is not. So, got it. Alright. That's one of them down. They took four. Take four. Oh, that's, that's not great. That is, a, that is not a great place to be. I'm supposed to do this in main phase two, but whatever. <laughs> and then I'll pass the turn. Still holding up my shenanigans. My opponent has three cards in hand. Four cards in hand. Um, I mean, I don't have lethal on board, and they're not going to attack. There's, there's no way they attack. Because um, it doesn't take much. Spoiler alert, opponent, it doesn't take much. Even if they don't attack, I'm flashing in this Harbinger. Okay, let's see where we're going. Where we're we going with this. Manamorphose, yep. Uh, I'm gonna say no response. Alright, cool. Uh, red, black. Nice. Time to go off. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. Yeah, even with the spell pierce early. I don't know. Maybe I was a little aggressive with the spell pierce. 
Um, to be fair, Burning Inquiry could have kept me from casting Spell Pierce later anyway, because you randomly discard. I don't have a choice in that. Maybe. Well, I mean, we'll see. You might have it. You might be alright. What's this? Red Flood. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Neat. <laughs> um, I don't know what the three counters are about. Red, black, cards you discarded. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was wondering. Thanks. Okay, cool. So, red, black, cards I've discarded. Red, black, cards I've discarded. So, uh... Storm. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Yeah, no, Storm's important here. What's Storm? Wait. Don't we need four... Oh, sorry. Four numbers, then? Red... Oh, excuse me. Black discards Storm? Counter under my HP. Oh! I see now. Okay, cool. Got there. I, I didn't even notice that. Alright, we're good then. We are good then. Mmm. Ooh. Well, um... Hmm. Burning Inquiry. Okay, neat. Storm is three. Good. I'm gonna draw. Th I'm gonna wait till my opponent draws first. Actually, I'm gonna say no response, just to make sure. Maybe they were waiting on me. Okay, good. One, two, three. Let's see. Select random. It's a missed caller for another token. Select random. It's Kapala. Bye bye. And then select random. Hello. Oh no! All the creatures! Well, there you go. Three more tokens. Three more tokens! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah, that was the risk I ran. That was the risk I ran. It did not pay off, <laughs> Monka said. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. That's my own fault, though. Is that? Hmm, okay. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Please stop popping up notifications. Alright, cool. And what's this? Oh, jeez. Jeez. Yeah, that's a, that's a card, alright. That's a card. It's not looking great for T1 over here. Uh, so, interestingly enough, they only need, if they have enough to kill Master, aka 2, with Grape Shot, they only need to put 1 here and 2 here, because once the Lord effect is gone from Master being gone, state-based actions will check and see that Biomancers have enough damage to take them out. Um, it's funny how that works, but that's how that works. Alright, so ha they have played a land. Uh, there's another. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Jeez. Well, in the meantime, time for coffee. Mmm. Nice and hot, just the way I like it. And, uh, this is Evangeline's Jigglypuff. I'm gonna spectate. I'm gonna spectate over here. Is that, uh, oh, you can see now. Ta-da! There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, why not, is the, the short answer. Okay, there's another writ. That's fun. And by the way, that writ is now one cheaper, so it's Dark Ritual. I think I... I think I what? Yeah, where's Past in Flame, bud? Ooh, hello. Yeah, it's kind of hard to fit you in here, but also let your eyes see. I think I forgot the second salvage in Storm Count. Uh, we can We can look it back. Let's see. We can look back at it. One, two, three, four. 
Oh, excuse me. Uh, what the heck? Wait, okay, okay. So these are the three that the Burning Inquiry got. One, two, three, four, skip, five, six. All right, good. We're good now. Seven. Okay. Oh, Lord. Um, yeah, that's enough. That's enough. All right, now let's remind ourselves. Uh, whenever an opponent dis discards a non-creature, non-land draw card, draw. Oh, hello. Oops. Draw. Add. BB. Ignore the alert. Yeah, that was that was my bad. And then we'll draw seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I mean, we're we're not gonna win here, but there's a spell pierce. That's not bad. All right. Yeah. So my opponent has uh, five zambonis out. We should win now. We? Isn't that my thing right now? Well, you are uncle, so <laughs> maybe you got a niece or nephew over there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whale. Mmm. Whale. Yeah, that's good. That's good. While my opponent is uh, playing solitaire, let's look for sideboard stuff. We're bringing in more wizard's retorts, as you do. Uh, we're bringing in... I think Echoing Truth might be alright. Maybe? I'm actually not sure. Uh, let's look through the rest first. So Relic obviously comes in, that's a given. Graph Digger's Cage is good against uh, Past and Flame shenanigans, but otherwise it's not great. Uh, this this doesn't do enough. Gutshot doesn't do anything, really. Same with Vapor Snag. So anything that, does, that deals with creatures, not so much. Master of Waves might be interesting later in the game as a way to deal with the tokens by setting up a wall against them. Although, Grape Shot's the win con about which I'm more worried. I, I do wish to see my opponent play it all the way out, though. Alright. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. We've got a draw three, one, two, three, and then discard three. Right, there's a land. More mana. Please just get mana. Like, if you just get mana, I think, well, actually, you know, given given what you have going on, that might be worse. Well, what's done is done. Yep, alright, already accounted for. Well, hey, oh jeez. Oh jeez. I like this deck. <laughs> Seems fragile, but fun. It does. I mean, if I'm being honest, it's so sweet when it goes off. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. It's a good way of putting it. All right. Jigglypuff, could you please sing my opponent to sleep? That would be about the only way I win from here. I'm pretty sure. In fact, oh jeez, oh lord, in fact, let's see, looking through here, there's Electrodominance, cool, there's a Grape Shot, now they're just looking for either a Grape Shot in hand or a Past in Flames, right? That has, that's, that has to be it. Hmm, I think that's how that works, I think that's what they're looking for. Ooh. Hmm. All right. Here we go. Mana Morphos for one mana, as you do. Just draw it. Okay, so I'm assuming red, red, because we already have so much black mana going on. Uh, yep. I think that's what just happened. I think that went from... Yep, it was two to four. Okay, so red, red was added. Red is being added again. For something. I missed it. Oh, Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay. Because why not, I guess? Electro Dominance. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, 
deals X damage to any target, you may cast a card with CMC 8. Oh, no, X or less, excuse me. Got it. Okay, yeah, I was I, I missed the or less clause for a moment. Game two? Yeah, that'll do it. Scoop will say that the winner was Flacco, and we'll do some sideboarding. All right, so the obvious ones first. I'd like to get the obvious ones out of the way right out, right off. Relic, Wizard's Retort. I'm running a, uh, I'm running against a combo deck, so Counterspell, Simo, all right. Uh, let's see, let's see. Thassa doesn't seem particularly great. Actually, Thassa and Kapala both seem like they might be a little bit slow, but again, let's look at my opponent's sideboard card. So we're seeing Molten Slag Heap. This allows them to just build mana and build and build and build and build. Uh, Alpine Moon, a non-basic land card, not super effective against me. I have five, one of which can return itself to the hand. Um, two Lightning Bolts, those are coming in. Shattering Spree, no. Surgical, no. Thought Seize, maybe? Echoing Truth seems like it should come in, although it's interesting, um, and, and Young Pyromancer can clog the ground a bit. Echoing Truth, uh, notice what blue mana they have. Me neither, they don't. <laughs> they don't have blue mana. They make it off of, as far as I can see, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm staring kind of hard, and I'm not seeing much. They have Mana Morphos to make the blue mana, and they have Electro Dominance to flash it back. Uh, so... Yeah, um, Echoing Truth seems a little cute, maybe, but we are a pretty redundant deck, so I guess I can see that happening. Uh, but Lightning Bolt for sure, Echoing Truth maybe, Pyromancer can clog the ground. Um, given that, and Master of Waves also can sneak by, but Master of Waves on its own is probably not enough. So, just because they have Pyromancer doesn't mean I should bring in grape, or Gutshot Grape Shot. Hello. Hello. Um, now what do I take out just for the cards I have right now? Is the question. So Thassa, I'm sorry. I don't think this is the matchup for you. And Kapala is neat. Um, but I don't know that Kapala does enough either, to be honest. Um, I'm going to try it without... So Harbinger is, probably doesn't do enough. Kapala's probably better than Harbinger in the deck. If I put in a Graft Digger's Cage, let, let's actually look at the wording one more time. Electro Dominance. You may cast a card with CMC X or less from your uh, hand. Sorry, from your hand. How did I misread that? For some reason, I was misreading it as Graveyard. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Reading the card explains the card. All this time, I've been seeing that as Graveyard. It feels like that's the way it should be, but, eh, that's alright. Okay, so never mind. Graft Digger's Cage does nothing except against Past and Flames, which is a one of. Uh, yep, one Past and Flames. So given that, I think I'm actually going to leave Graft Digger's Cage out. Um, going to look for a bit of food? You can make your turn one. Okay, yeah, <laughs> this is not a very interactive deck, so, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, Kapala does not, as I recall, have a relevant type for wizard. It's a wizard! It is a wizard! Okay, yep. I'm, I'm gonna try it. Bolt is coming in. I'm gonna try it. Alright, keepable hand. Please, keepable hand. One of the joys of playing Merfolk is that you actually tend, not always, but you tend to have a pretty decent, um, consistency for your, your opening hands. You don't have to mulligan too often. You're a redundant deck that's not running too few lands, and you have Vile to help you if you don't have enough lands. So I'm going to say that this is a key. There's Land, Land, Aether Vile, so I can go Turn 1, Vile. I would like to do Turn 2, Spreading Seas, but we'll see what my opponent plays for their land. Um, it would be nice, and it also depends... I mean, if they do Turn 1, Burning Inquiry, that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be a barrel of monkeys. So, click that out. I'm going to put out an Aether Vial. And we're going to say Aether Vial on zero, so that I'm less likely to forget. And then I will pass the turn, and I'm probably going to go get a tissue in just a bit. Yeah, because of the way the camera is situated, when I'm looking at the screen, because I don't have the computer propped up on anything, I'm having to hunch down, and I probably look 
like this the whole time, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> you know, this might help a little bit. Let me scoot the computer closer so I can sit up straight. Still have to look down. Jigglypuff sees it pretty well. All right, you're back. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I'm gonna call it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're definitely doing spreading seas if we get the chance to. That is a dual color land. Oh, you know, they might. I don't think Thought Seize comes in in this matchup, but I, I guess I can see it. Shattering Spray, ooh. I'm gonna do some maximum cuteness. Maximum cuteness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this does nothing. <laughs> I love doing that. I wish. Yeah, this is a this is a format where we each kind of know. Oh wait, let, let's. Oh, jeez, crap. <laughs> okay, so that happened. Spreading seas. Gee, I wonder what that's targeting. Blip. Gonna scoot it right on over there, and then draw a card. It's a land. Hoorah! Pass the turn. All right, hopefully that mana screws them for just enough. Uh, you'll notice that I don't have any Island Walk Lords. Unfortunately, I don't, so, uh, what you gonna do? Okay, well, they have red mana. That's the more important, okay, Ascension? Oh, Pyromancer, I thought so. I had a hunch that that might come in. So if I can find an Island Walk Lord, I'll be okay here. I can I can last through Pyromancer. It's not necessarily great, but I can. Um, so this is this is interesting. Um, I think I would like to get down a Lord first, actually. I can also try to flash in Trickster to buy myself a turn there. But I think that this is okay. I don't see any other pressure from my opponent, so we're gonna play a Reachery. Uh, this particular Lord is great to get out early because while I don't have an Island Walk Lord right now, this is going to make it where some of their creatures will be tapped for when I do wish to go to combat. That said, this is about to puke out a lot of tokens. Yep, okay, there's a... Uh, take one damage. Well, let's see if they have any Swamps. Should have one, right? They have two swamps. Okay. That's fine. Alright, go into 19. Let's see. Oh, we're going to, we're taking two. That's a blood crypt. The worst blood crypt. I'm not a big fan of uh, any of the blood crypts flavorfully, but oh, okay. Ascension? Manamorphose? Another Pyromancer, okay. This is gonna get out of hand. This is gonna get really out of hand. Uh, wait, oh no, Sim oh, Simeon, okay, gotcha. Gotcha, all right, I can live with that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Not looking good for T1 Glistener Elf. It's not looking great. You got it. Capitalization. Who needs it? Sometimes, sometimes I do that. I'll just flip through a little, ooh, a little bit too quickly. Okay, so um, we're not looking great here, unfortunately. Um, what's the right play here? Yeah, that trickster would have looked <laughs> a little sweet, but it's it's okay. We'll make it work. We will make it work. We will make it a thing. All right, so with black remaining, <laughs> dream salvage just to get two tokens. All right, well, I mean, I can live with this. Play another island. Hmm, okay. You know, there's a, there's a case to be made for tapping the Mutavault here. 
Um, hmm. I mean, obvious trickster is obvious. If I flash in trickster, I can tap down one of the pyromancers and make the other pyromancer not able to use its abilities. And then we will reveal, I mean we're going to do it anyway, so reveal it, draw a CAD. Ooh, now that's not bad either. That's not bad. Hmm. Um, well right now we don't have anything that's abusing it. There is a Faithless Looting actually. There's a case to be made, they're guaranteed another spell which was two more tokens, if I just let this slide. On the other hand, if I don't put out another creature, I might be in a tad of trouble. So, what's the right answer here? What's the right answer, folks? I have a 3-2 and a 2-2. Two -two. Uh, you know, I haven't actually missed the trigger yet. Um, I haven't moved past that point. I think. Yeah. Have I? Is that play or cast? Looking at wording. BRB. Alright, we're gonna investigate. We are going to investigate. Um, I think it is cast, actually, so I think I missed the trigger. But we'll, we'll check just to make sure. It, it doesn't matter. I'm not attacking this turn. Also, let's see if I can correctly spell Miro Regery. Oh, yep, R-E-E-J-E-R-E-Y. Okay, that's neat. Good to know, yeah. <laughs> All right, it's cast. It's on cast, which means I missed it. Alas. It, it doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. It doesn't make a bit of difference, guys. <laughs> All right. I think it's probably acceptable here for me to play down the relic, draw a card, like cycle it to draw a card. Hmm. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Alright, watch this be wrong, but I'm gonna try it. And, by the way, I have one card. I'm okay with this. Not that my deck really uses it much anyway. Exile. Cycle. So, it gets removed from the game. This is out of order, technically, but who cares? <laughs> exactly no one. Alright. Well, that's, that's a thing. And now that that's a thing, we're going to pass the turn. Okay. With three cards in my opponent's hand, they can still do stuff. They're not guaranteed an extra spell for Pyromancers, but they can still do stuff. If they start going on an attacking spree, I will just eat some of their uh, some of their little dudes. It's still a bolt deck though, and I am definitely not out of bolt range yet. That's a bolt. You're no fun. Called it. <laughs> so I chose the wrong path, but in my defense. I wasn't expecting double Pyromancer. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, Echoing Truth, in retrospect... Please, please, okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way real quick. Okay. Hey, buddy, get out of here. Be free. Be free. All right. Um, hmm. Do I trade my 2-1? You know, without the prospect of a lord on the horizon, the answer might be yes. It's, it's funny, um, but the answer might be yes. Thinking. So, no matter what, when I untap, I'm going to have a 2-2 two -two out. That'll be fun. And since I'm getting flooded, apparently, trading that for a pyromancer if it attacks is fine. They're not going to, but... If I have to, that's fine. Um, if I do get a lord, I'm going to regret jumping here. 
It's the difference of one point this turn, and a point the turn after, and so on. Uh, I'm also going to have three creatures next turn, so I, I think this is okay. Boop. One, two, three. Okay. Let's untap. Let's draw our card. Ooh. Why do I sound like Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh? Ooh. <laughs> Shoutouts to Pegasus, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Alright. Not playing Obora yet. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well. So, unfortunately, I mean, uh, okay, we'll, we'll do the obvious play first, I guess. There's Mist Caller, which makes actual factual no difference. Um, pass the turn, upkeep. Gonna do something here. Injures the battlefield. Uh, it loses all abilities till end of turn. That's the part we care about. We're gonna say this guy. Makes it a little bit easier for my opponent to organize. Just a tiny bit. It can't attack, and uh, it loses its abilities. So no tokens for you. No more tokens for you. Plus, that's a 2-2. So, uh, that's fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Ah, <sighs> Miss Caller, Miss Caller, Miss Caller. Oh, I'm sorry, we are in combat. This is weird. Hold until I say, please. Which is a way of saying, I, I haven't said final yet. I haven't. I'm deciding about deciding about mist caller. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. This is using up a lot of my resources, um, and once again, just like before, if I find a lord, this is going to hurt. Um, if I don't find a lord, Mistcaller is the perfect one to drop for Pyromancer, to run in the way of a Pyromancer. I, I don't see my opponent doing that, though. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna call it there. Alright, cool, that one's dead. Take two. Alright. And we'll see what we're working with. Ooh, buddy, oh. Never mind. Okay, cool. I I assume my opponent did see the Muta Vault, but couldn't really do anything about it. Um, and also, obviously, no Bolt, because they both lived. Alright. Oh, jeez. Well, hmm. <laughs> uh, is there any reason to... I'm trying to think of if there's any reason not to just play one of my lands here. Um, what can my opponent really think I'm threatening? They know I'm a two spell pierce list. Oh, you know what? Well, you are a wizard. I'm, I have enough mana for wizard's retort. I'll, I'll hold it. I'll hold it. That's fine. Because um, I'll pay two, and then have one for mutavolt, and I'll still leave one for spell pierce. Oh, but wait a minute. Then there's a uh, wizard's retort. Okay, so I'll play around the possibility of... I'll let them think I can still have Wizard's Retort, because then I'll still have Blue Blue open. Um... Pass turn... Upkeep. Alright, going back. Check. Do it again. Alright. <laughs> this has been Karaoke with T1 Glistener Elf. Okay. Wait, wait, what? What happened? 
Oh, okay, they just put it in tapped. Okay, I see. They didn't tap it for mana, they just put it in tapped. Alright, I think we may have turned a corner. They might be, since I don't really have any pressure on them, they might just be holding the, uh, their instants and sorceries in their hand until they can get mo the most utility out of them with both pyromancers. Um, not playing anything here. I need to find something, and quickly. This is going to get gross before too long if I'm not careful. If I'm not really careful. Alright. Well, Spell Pierce, you're, you're dead. You're not going to do anything. <laughs> unless you're doing it right now. What's that, a bolt? Ooh, Dream Salvage. Oh, okay. With one card left, Spell Piercing's probably not going to do anything. So I'm going to say, uh, yeah, you're good. No response. You have more tokens. You will soon have more tokens than you know what to do with. Where is my echoing truth? <laughs> yeah, it's in the sideboard. I even discussed it. I even, well, to be fair, because I haven't drawn Kapala, I haven't drawn what the echoing truth would have been. So, it's not that big a deal. It wouldn't have made a difference this game. Still, you know, <laughs> All right. Well, I would think they would need to build up. So oh, jeez, I know where this is going. Are we reforging any souls here? Well, we're we're not, but they're still getting tokens, and that's not particularly great. <laughs> that's not great. I I think that there's maybe maybe a case for letting that resolve, and I can refill my hand. A, though, that fills their graveyard. Um, B, they're going to get the tokens anyway. But I still maybe should have done that, actually. Um, because with this much mana out, if I drew enough lords, I might even be able to assemble an alpha strike quickly. Uh, so that, that may have been a misplay on my part. I maybe should have let that resolve. If they're casting it, though... There's probably a reason for that. They, they probably are doing that intentionally. They're probably not doing that for my benefit. Um, but, you know, I've been wrong before. Um, hmm. I'll play the Vial because if I draw into a Harbinger later, that might do something. Plus it keeps one counter in, or one card in my hand. Let's threaten that counter magic. Pass the turn. <laughs> they did fully tap out, so they couldn't have gotten any more that turn. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more I'm beating my... Oh, okay. Okay, burning inquiry. Well, not anything I can do about that. So we're going to say no response. Draw, draw, draw. May I select the one to keep? Since I have four cards, if I random select, uh, it's going to pick one. Sure, okay, that's what I'll do. All right. Select random. <gasps> we got there. We got there, folks. Alright, and I'm on camera, so <laughs> not cheating. <laughs> Very clearly not cheating, right? Okay, now that's a lot of power on the board. This is not looking great. This is not looking great at all, folks. I am uh, not looking forward to the oh cheese. All right, well, we have a writ just to get some more. Yeah, count it out, folks. That's 14 power on their side of the board. And yeah, while they may not be attacking just yet, ah, uh, this is gonna hurt. This is going to hurt, folks. Um, what, you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Pass the turn, I would think. No, you can't attack here, right? Uh, it's too early. You build up for next turn, I think. All right, we're going to untap. We're not going to forget our stinking counters again. We're going to draw a card. <gasps> okay, wait, 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 wait. They're at 17. This is, this is not there yet. We are not home yet. We are not home yet, folks. Okay, let's think about this for a moment.
They're out of cards in hand. Let's check their graveyard. And uh, there's a bolt. So past and f <laughs> okay, okay, past and flames bolt. Yeah, I guess technically that's a thing. Um, so I'm not getting through here unless I play the master. So that's going to have to be a given, right? Um, if I play Mirror Regery and then Master, I get to tap one thing down, which absolutely makes no difference here. Um, the only difference that it does make is that because I have two Lords, whatever one creature gets to attack, gets to hit for four. So let's do some math here. Assuming that everything goes the way I plan, I'm going to have to tap all of these, except one. So Mutavolt will not get to attack, or not get to block. If I attack with just one creature, I'll deal four, put them to 13, and have three blockers left, and the three blockers will be big enough that they can even block Pyromancers. I think that that's correct. I think that that's the way I have to go here. So we're gonna go... I guess we'll play it technically correctly. We'll tap... three for you. Mirror Regery. Shoutouts to you, bud. Uh, and then we'll tap... Two for Master. Um, then we'll target Source. They're both Blood Crips. Uh, we're gonna say that one. <laughs> dude, dude, can you please not? Why are all of these showing up? You've seen in previous videos here. This is there are not usually this many bugs. They. I am so sorry, my opponent. Be right back. I, I'm not. I, I don't. I don't swat these things. I, I wouldn't want to be <laughs> swatted myself if I were in that position, so I don't do it to them. Um, okay, now back. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Trying to figure out if we have lethal next turn. So, if I attack with just one, I will put them to 13. Then on the next turn, after block, like, they're, they're probably going to attack, I'll block with three of them. This is a 4-4, four, four, a 3-3, three, three, a 3-3. Three, three. Um, and then, and then, let's see, I'll have, ooh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14, 18. So, because there's no life gain in my opponent's deck, I only need to attack with one creature here. I can play it a little bit safer and keep another one back. Um, see, I, they have 14 power on board, and I can block the biggest ones and I'll still be out of bolt range, but it's sort of a better safe than sorry. So I'm going to only attack with the one, I believe. I don't think that there's a reason to go all in here. Four. Island Walk. <laughs> Yay, Island Walk! Woo! Alright. And then we'll pass the turn. Now, I have no cards in hand, so holding up that island is, while technically correct, completely meaningless. <laughs> it does nothing. It means nothing, folks. <coughs> oh, hello. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, jeez. Um, I missed it. That's a Manamorphos. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Buddy, where'd you go? Yeah, that's too slow to be like a... When you do that, that's not enough to kill it. Alright. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um... Discard three? Did that actually do it? Yep, Bendik Biomancer, Island, Silvergill. So I just went straight into it. Uh, has drawn three from deck to discard. That's an interesting way of saying milled three, I suppose. Although this is a, a function that's made for more than just, you know, this game. Uh, it's made for other games as well. Got any tricks? Yep. <laughs> Whew, okay, we got there. 
I don't know how we got there, but we got there, folks. T1 Glist. Oh, it went a. Well, that was quick. Seems like everybody, and I mean everybody, beats me to that. Okay. Knowing what we know now, other cards that can come in. Gutshot? Maybe? Maybe? There is a case to be made for Echoing Truth beyond just, um... So Echoing Truth can uh, return a Pyromancer Ascension, uh, either in response to it getting the second counter, at which point it's dangerous, or, um, or just well, while it has one so that they don't get the chance to get it there. Um, so let's see... I think Echoing Truth is better than Kapala. Much as I like you, Chickadee, that's that's probably not where I want to be. Ooh, that rhymed. You're a wizard, and I don't want to take out too many wizards. Bendik Biomancer. It's a wizard. It's a merfolk wizard mutant. Huh. Oh, jeez, what was that? I'm on a touchpad. Stuff like that happens. Uh, Lord of Atlantis? No. Master of the Vulture? No. <laughs> Lord of Atlantis is a lord, back when that was a thing. Trickster is a wizard. Uh... Regery is a soldier. That's it's a Regery. So, Mistcaller is a wizard. Mutavolt's a wizard. <laughs> I mean, it is. Can't deny that. Silvergill is a wizard. Let's just run through the checklist real quick. And Wizard's Retort is no. All right. So let's see. I don't think that there's anything else that I would like to give up in order to put in the second Echoing Truth. I think that I like it the way that it is. The only thing I can think of that really could make the cut, in my estimation, is Mirror Regery. Um, because this is not a deck that... So, Regery can be used to tap down the opponent's blockers, uh, such that you can just swing right on through. This is a deck that either has none, or as we just saw, can make too many for that to matter. So, maybe, but I don't want to dilute my Merfolk too much. How many Merfolk have I already taken out? Let's see. We took out Thassa, Kapala, Harbinger, Harbinger, Harbinger. So no more Harbingers, which Harbinger was a wizard. I don't believe that I would like to take out any more. So we're going to try it with just one Echoing Truth. And this may be wrong. This may be wrong. I may be crazy. But it just may be a lunatic. Okay. Hello. I'm, I'm good at this, folks. Okay, that's a that's a hand. That's a that's a hand, all right. We're gonna have turn one spell pierce or relic. Uh, turn two spreading seas or silver guild. Or hold up spell pierce. Um, this is so while my opponent is uh, I'll say keep real quick. This is better than going down to six. Buddy, buddy. Oh, you flew out. Missed you. All right. There you are. <sighs> hmm. Now I can hold it just for turn one burning inquiry, but I don't know. That's that's probably too cute because if they burning inquiry and discard a bunch of stuff, I can use relic to get rid of it anyway. Ooh. Okay. They're at six. Please keep. Oh yeah, they kept. All right. Good. Uh. Wait. 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 Has revealed. Okay. So they did scry. All right, good. Good. All right, fair enough. All right. You don't want to see it go poorly. I don't, anyway. <clears throat> okay. So, um, now Spell Pierce becomes a lot more titillating. Becomes a lot more interesting. Uh, give my opponent some time to debate this. As long as I can keep up like, they can play some bait spells to, to try to bait out the spell pierce. If they have the resources to do so and they know what they're doing, they can do that. So once again, play it out. I believe it's correct to pass the turn here. Which is a... I mean, it's only a two spell pierce list, so it's not the greatest indication that I don't have anything, but it probably means I don't have anything. Uh, that I have spell pierce, rather. Um, hmm. What were these again? Well, I'm 
they did a faithless looting, so that's selection. So I'm actually going to say pass. Alright, whatever you got, spell pierce is on deck. Okay, Jigglypuff, wish me luck. When uh, Evangeline's going to sleep, even now she will still ask me to do the Jigglypuff song for her. Even now, and it's so, it's always the cutest thing. Alright, so, ways I can go about this. We're going to draw a card, let that determine it first. They only have 15 lands. I'm going to win that attrition war. I'm going to play a relic. Exile one card. <laughs> uh, ooh, lock it. The reason I found that curious is that they could have fetched in response so that they would have to get rid of the fetch land instead. Um, but they didn't, which is alright. That's fine. Okay. If they... Oh, they're fetching here. So if they play another fetch land, then in response to the fetch, I can pop the relic so that I can get rid of Faithless Looting. Okay. Ooh. Alright. There's a fetch land. No, no, that's Black Cleave. That's Black Cleave. Never mind. Hmm. Ah! Ooh, they, they copied it. Interesting. Wait, wait, wait. Um, so it's one and remove it from the game. It's not tap. Crap. Exile all. I mean, it's, it's fine to do it the way that they did. It does mean that the shields are down for whatever one drop they would like to play next, or if they have Simeon Spirit Guide, a two drop. Um, but I, I think it's fine to... Oh, draw your card, Jay. Draw your card. <laughs> Ooh, Wizard's Retort. <laughs> Devoid of an actual wizard. You're not a wizard, Harry. Oh, but, well, but, but never mind. <laughs> Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. At this point, I actually could just keep up the, uh, the Spell Pierce. I only have three cards in hand. Is it correct to keep up Spell Pierce here? What I mean by that is... Play this, add a note. <laughs> Tribal Nikachu. Um, uh, in a game like this, I think we know. <laughs> Joke names all right by you? <laughs> Shout out to Nikachu. <laughs> Shout outs to Fish. Alright, so uh, what I can do here is I can Silvergill reveal Silvergill. You know, I can also just play out the uh, the spreading seas. Try to draw, I'll get another card either way. Um, I won't have a clock yet though, but I think we're past the point where I'm actually mana screwing them. I would like to get this wizard out if I can. So um, I think it's all right to go. I think it's maybe correct, and correct me if I'm wrong. Well, if there's ever a turn, it's now to spreading seas spell pierce. I mean, mm. this feels slow. This this feels slow to me. But I have such a controlling hand. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Draw my card. I have played a land. Pass the turn. Eh. 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 And then next turn, I'll be able to Silvergill and have Wizard's Retort. What is that? That's an Ascension. Uh, we're going to Spell Pierce that. I don't want you getting any counters on it now. Cool. Yeah, and uh, the only other way I was getting around that was just holding up all three mana for Wizard's Retort. Which is not particularly great. Uh, they only had the Shattering Spree. 
but this kind of does stall them a little bit. Oh my goodness, I'm flooding so hard now. Silvergill. Reveal Silvergill. Draw a card. There's a Biomancer. With only two cards in hand, can I afford... I don't believe that I can afford to go double Biomancer here. Can I? I think what I'm supposed to do is hold up the Wizard's Retort, and then if I don't have to use it, then next turn, play double Biomancer, and then if I still don't need it, then I can uh, adapt one of them. I think that that's the correct way to do this, right? Um... And then we'll pass the turn. <clears throat> yeah. My opponent is getting dangerously close to reforge the soul territory. Nope, 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 nope. Counter target spell. You got a wizard, Sylvie. Alright, well now, now all bets are off. <laughs> now it's off to the races. <clears throat> yep, now it's all bets are off. <laughs> um, well, you know, with that revelation, I could just play Vial. This is a discard deck, so if I don't play the Vial, it might be gone. Um, let's see. Ways I can go about this. I can go Silvergill, Reveal, Biomancer, draw a card, Biomancer, land, have two up for Adapt, or have one up for Aether Vial. At this point, it's probably better to Adapt, right? It's one extra point, and I can get rid of a card I don't need. Um, so we're going to... Plus, they already know about the Silvergill. So before we play land, just in case we get a Mutavolt, and then we'll reveal Biomancer, draw a card, there's a Relic, oh god, this is looking so good, this is looking so good, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I'm sorry, Ugh. I'm also choking, I'm sorry and I'm choking. Well, you know, nothing quite like <laughs> play your, uh... Alright, we're gonna do one first. Uh, did they... Oh, sorry, not yet. I haven't told them yet. There they go, they, they did the one. Um... We'll say... Combat? Two. Dos. Got there. Alright. Main two. At the very least, I think it's correct. Yeah, it's it's correct to play the Biomancer they already know about. That's, I think, kind of a given at this point, right? Uh, and because they only have a Shattering Spree in their yard, and they only have two cards about to be three in their hand, I don't think I need to worry about popping it just yet, so I think it's also alright to play out the other one. I think that that's correct. And then we're going to say pass the turn. That is uh, a lot of little power on the board. This is this is not the most competitive of hands, but our opponent is just... That's what happens when you you tie up their mana with one cow. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 okay. Why are they revealing that? Oh, they're splicing. Wait, wait, wait. Thinking. Okay, thinking. Wait, 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 wait. Splice onto Arcane is two. And, uh, okay. I haven't seen this in a long time. Okay. So they just gained red, 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 red. Uh, as you play an Arcane spell, you may reveal this card from your hand and pay its splice cost. If you do, add this card's effects to that spell. So they just gained red, 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 red. Good. Okay, so there's six red in the pool. 
and then they're going to play it again. Hello. About. <laughs> Honestly, I was making sure I understood. You'll see my confusion. My thought process confusion. Just one counter on PA, right? I think that's correct, right? So the first one obviously doesn't do it because there wasn't one. Then they're about to play the second one. Okay, after this. Good. Good. They don't have another one. Thank goodness they don't have another one. Okay, well... <laughs> seven red. Reforge. Reforge. Do it. Reforge. Do it. As Evangeline would say, oh, 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 wait a minute. There's a Manamorphose. Make black, black. Five red, two black. <laughs> okay. That's my, my magic player brain is saying that's nine mana. Five R, two B looks like nine. <laughs> but no, that's seven. The, the convention here. What is this? Surgical. Hmm. What's this? Um, which one? Oh, Wizard's Retort. Okay, cool. Um, exile that. Reveal my hand. Search for a card in my deck. Okay, cool. So we got there eventually. <laughs> the, the power of teamwork. We got there eventually. Folks, this is a weird mechanic. Uh, yes, except. Alright, we got there. It's only two. Which, to be fair, my opponent knew the deck list, so... I, I appreciate they're, they're doing that. Um, I mean, if they have the Surgical, they might as well play it. Uh, what's about to happen here, though, is they're about to use up all that mana, and then I'm gonna exile all the cards in their graveyard, so that'll get rid of Manamorphose, Desperate Writ, Surgical. Uh, we'll see. Oh, yes. I'm a little surprised it didn't do that automatically. Um, v. V is shuffle. Okay, cool. We got there. Um, let's see. I say um a lot. Yeah, two surgicals. Okay, cool. What just happened? My turn. Yay! Ah, notifications. Yay! Thank you so much. Draw. I'm just going to do it now, I guess. Um... Pay the one, exile it, exile all. I don't think it's too early with an Ascension out. I want to take zero risk with that card out. I'm so close to winning, I do not want... Speaking of which, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. So we're going to play one, two... This is just cycle the deck. <laughs> That's what it's looked like with Spreading Seas and Silvergill and the potential to adapt. It looks like that's what the deck is trying to do. Um, hmm. So we're gonna play this out. There we go. Um, hmm. I guess I'm supposed to play the Vile here. Maybe? I mean, they already know about it, so... I guess that that's right. Yeah, we'll play the Vile. I didn't have enough mana to adapt one of them anyway. Um, alternatively, I can actually cycle here for one more point of power, but I don't actually... Oh, 17 to 11. Um, after blockers thinking. Adapt is funny too. Before I forget. Don't want to forget that. Um, you know, I'm gonna get one more point, but if I, well, I'm gonna have one of them no matter what. Um, 
I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It's fine. You're good. Alright. This is, uh, this is quite the game. This is quite the game, folks. Ooh, okay. Plus, I can play out... Ooh, hello. What's this? What's all this? Past in flames? Ooh! <laughs> what a way to concede. <laughs> what a metal way to concede. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'll reveal my hand. Reveal all once. Yeah, that's a thing. You played well, I think. Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Uh, may I ask how you sideboarded? Uh, game two? I'm gonna tell my opponent, you already know, but I'm gonna tell my opponent. Yeah, probably, probably so. So game two was... Um... Let's see. Two relic, two retort? Minus two, minus one Thassa, minus three Harbinger. Game three, also one Echoing Truth, Truth, I do that all the time. Uh, minus one uh, Kapala um, brought in <laughs> everything but Alpine Moon. Okay, I I was definitely not expecting that. Um, in this game, I went back to a more combo-based build and only brought in disruption. Makes sense on the play, to be honest. I I like that. I like that game plan. Hmm. I guess it, it works out. You look at what they're doing. Some of these cards seem a little suspect in the matchup. Uh, Molten Slag Heap. I, I don't actually understand bringing that in against Merfolk. But I also don't play the deck. So I just at a glance, I don't know that I know it well enough to be able to say. Oh, hello. Um, yeah. Except you drew way better than I did. My seven didn't have any lands. I honestly thought that I was going to be flooded, but Merfolk draws a lot. I mean, we we kind of do. <laughs> Silvergill and Spreading Seas, and I mean, to be fair, you also got a, a pretty consequential spell countered. That waste not being countered. Um, actually, it, it didn't end up mattering because you didn't follow it up with a discard spell. It is the card draw tribal. Lords and card draw. That is kind of what we do. Amen. Well, well, thanks for playing. Catch me for a game. Sometime if you'd like. I mean... Plus, I draw you cards. Yeah, I'll beat randomly, and that is that is true. I did get I did get lucky with that. I did get lucky with my force discards. All right. Adios. Ciao. I don't. I'm not entirely sure how to spell it. Me too. Yeah. All right. And uh, that's it, YouTube. Take care, everyone. I will whew, be glad I dodged a... I was about to say dodged a bullet um, and made it through that round. I will see you later. Bye-bye.